chef, culinary arts was his world. This past weekend, who killed Xavier Brown and why? His mom and dad have so many questions. Left for dead, Xavier Brown was found with a fatal gunshot wound to the shoulder and neck area early Saturday morning. And whoever pulled the trigger makes it more mysterious. His phones were with him, his car key, I think they said was in his hand. Um, and he had money on his person. Brown worked as a chef downtown at Jufro's. His body, crime insider sources tell me, was discovered by a female walking in the bottom. Brown was found near the city bar chop house, just two city blocks from where he worked. I feel like anyone who was aware of this incident, who knows the person who committed this, again, heinous crime, uh, to, to know that someone did this and not to say anything or to come forward to get the police, the authorities, uh, the information that, that's needed so that we can move forward. Uh, I, I feel you're just as bad as the person who pulled the trigger. Xavier Brown, an aspiring chef, a brother, a son, and grandson, a nephew. A young man known for his work ethic and zest for good food and living life to the fullest. A former standout football lineman from Monacan High who turned in his shoulder pads for a spatula, wanting to take care of your taste buds so well, you'd never forget his name. He's cooked for, you know, celebrity, celebrity families. Um, and so this was an opportunity for him to be able to, to meet some more additional people that he could possibly do some uh, guest chef work for. It's believed that Brown had left some sort of a networking party in downtown Richmond before his murder. If you have information about that party, call police. The family has also set up a GoFundMe linked to our website for a reward fund. Working for you, John Burke.